I walk with God, and there's many different articles, many different tools, many different things that we'll need in our toolbox in order to be successful from the altar all the way to heaven. My Lord. So tonight, we want to look at a very important aspect of your experience if you are going to be faithful and maintain a testimony throughout all situations from the altar to heaven. So we're going to work our way through the text, we're going to break it down, and we're going to give the essentials, but tonight's message is titled, Fleeing Potiphar's Wife. <laughs> this is something that you must have in your arsenal if you're going to be successful in your walk with God, and the title of the sermon is, Fleeing Potiphar's Wife. Yeah. What does that look like, and why is that important for every single believer? To have this message in your arsenal. You don't know what you're going to face. You don't know what's going to come your way. You out. don't know what situation that you may find yourself in. Come but on. it's going to be imperative that you have this message in your arsenal in order for you to maintain a testimony, in order for you to make heaven your home. And tonight's title is called Fleeing Potiphar's Wife. What do you need to have in your arsenal in order to make this happen? We're going to cover this tonight and let you go. Genesis chapter 39, verse number 1. And Joseph was brought down to Egypt and Potiphar. Now Joseph was brought down to Egypt. A little background. Joseph was the youngest of Jacob's, or I'm sorry, the second youngest of Jacob's 12 sons. Jacob was Isaac's son. Abraham's great grandson. So you see the lineage that Joseph comes from. Now, mind you, him being the second oldest of the sons, his father, for whatever reason, kind of favored him a little bit. Said that he was a child that was kind of, kind of his favorite. Any parent know you should never do that. You should love your children equally. Amen. But his father kind of had a favorite. So here. That's how you can tell the difference between like uncles and aunties and parents. Uncles and aunties, they can kind of have favorites. Even some grandparents sometimes may have some kind of favorites. But parents, you better not. You better love them all the same. Even that one that's kind of tough to love sometimes. You got to love them all the same. So one of the children there, uh, uh, the second youngest son was Joseph. Jacob kind of loved them or gave them a little, gave them a coat. Anybody knew what was different about his coat? had many colors, which was weaved and put together with a great level of detail. So he stood out. When he walked in, it was like, oh, there he is. That's the favorite one. This caused his brothers probably to feel a little bit of what? A little jealousy, yeah. So his brothers were kind of jealous already. Then on top of that, one day, Come on. he had the audacity to dream. Now, y'all know you got to be careful who you share your dreams with. Not everybody going to be super excited about your dreams. So he said, man, I got this dream that I was in the field, I had some sheaves, and I put these sheaves together, and then y'all came and y'all put y'all sheaves together. So we are good. The story was good at that point. But then he said, my sheaves stood up. Uh-oh, we listening. Then they said, he said, y'all sheaves walked around and surrounded my sheaves. Okay, we listening. And then he messed up. Mm -hmm. All y'all sheets bowed down. Oh, Lord. <laughs> we already didn't like you. See, when somebody already didn't like, don't like you, they don't need a whole bunch more. <laughs> they already kind of felt a certain way. He was that person that, like, after he was gone, they would kind of whisper. They'd be like, hey, Jesse. <laughs> you ever ran into somebody like that? They'd be like, hey, sister. <laughs> <clears throat> but when you go, uh, that's kind of how it was with him. So here, they said, we got to do something with this. So they went away. The father said, man, they going away. Go find them. See where they went. They, 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 go out. they went. They said, oh, here he coming. It's kind of set up. They said, we're going to kill him. Go in this pit. There it was. Yeah, this pit. I don't think no water was anything. It was in the pit. But still, they threw him down in the pit. And one of us said, man, why are we going to throw him down there? Now? These people are coming. Let's pull them up out of there and sell him. So these Mennonites came, uh, Ishmaelites came, and they sold him. They took him down to 
Egypt and sold them to a man named Potiphar. That's where the story takes up at of Frank. And Joseph was was brought down to Egypt. Uh huh. And Potiphar, yep. An officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, an Egyptian. Uh huh. Bought him of the hands of the Israelites, which had brought him down thither. So one of the leaders, captain of the guard. So he was a wealthy man. You got to get this context. Very wealthy, very influential. Potiphar was highly esteemed. Officer of the most powerful man in the world. All right, come on and read, but Frank. And the Lord was with Joseph. Uh huh. And he was a prosperous man. Uh huh. And he was in the house of, the, of his master, Hold the on. Egyptian. He was, his brothers were jealous against him. He was sold by them, stripped, beaten, took his coat. So, to the Ishmaelites, Mennonites, they sold him to Potiphar. But the Bible said, the Lord, it don't matter what people say. It don't matter what people do. It don't matter what they say against you. When God is with you, that makes all the difference. Amen. Don't worry about what people, they can dog you out, throw you in his pit, try to malign your name, do this, that, and the other. But when God is with you, sure. it makes all the difference in the world. Right. So here, despite all that hate, because you're going to deal with some haters. Yeah. Live long enough, you're going to deal with some folk that ain't real happy about you. You blessed. You got a you saved. You got a good home. You got a good 